Good morning, Veritas All-Stars. This is the challenge problem on your Google Classroom for Wednesday, May 6th, 2020. First things first, when we start a word problem, we're just going to read it once through, and then the second time I'm going to annotate. Okay, so here it goes. Miss Dorsey earned $376 selling cookies. Five-eighths of that money was earned by selling Girl Scout cookies, and the rest was earned by selling homemade cookies. Part A says, how much money did she earn selling homemade cookies? And Part B says, how much more money did she earn selling Girl Scout cookies than homemade cookies? Okay, so now I got it in my head. She earned a certain amount of money. A fraction of that was doing Girl Scout cookies, and another fraction was selling homemade cookies. We got to find out how much money making homemade cookies and then how much more money selling Girl Scout cookies than homemade cookies. So this is going to be two steps here. Okay, so I'm just trying to kind of get my mind wrapped around what it is I have to do. So Miss Dorsey, she earned $376 selling cookies. Five eighths was for Girl Scout cookies. So over here, I'm going to make a little chart. Homemade and Girl Scout cookies. Five eighths of the $376 was selling Girl Scout cookies. And the rest was earned by selling homemade cookies. So the rest out of eight total parts, if this is five out of eight total parts, then the rest of it would be three more out of eight because five plus three more would make the whole thing of eight eighths. Okay, so the homemade cookies were really three eighths of $376. Okay, so five eighths selling Girl Scout cookies, five eighths of the total money, the rest of it was homemade cookies, so the rest of the eighths to get to eight eighths is three more eighths of the $376. Okay, so the total amount of money was $376. Now I can start solving. So for homemade, we're gonna do three eighths. It says, how much money did she earn selling homemade cookies? So we're gonna say, what's three eighths of, or what's three eighths times 376? Now we can write this whole number of 376 with a denominator of one. Anytime you have a whole number, this is 376 divided by one, so it's still 376. The denominator is also telling us how many pieces are in each whole. So every dollar is just one whole dollar, okay? So now we're gonna just multiply the numerators. Three times 376. So 376 times 3, we do 3 times 6, 1 is 18. 3 times 7 tens is 21, plus 1 is 22. Then 3 times 3 hundreds would be 9 hundreds, plus 2 more would be 11 hundreds, which is 1,128. So our numerator is 1,128. I should have given myself more space for that. I just did three times 376 is 1,128 for our numerator. Then we just multiply the denominators. Eight times one is eight. So now we have 1,128 divided by eight. So if we had $1,128 and we divided it into eight equal groups, we're gonna find out how much would go in each group. So if we had eight groups and there's only 1,000, we can't put any thousands into each of those eight groups. So now we're going to look at it as 11 hundreds. So eight goes into 11, we could put only 100 into each group. So one times eight is eight. Subtract, nine, 10, 11 would be three hundreds left. Now we're going to bring down the tens. So if we had 32 tens, how many could we put into eight groups? And it's four, because four times eight is 32. I'm gonna have to write smaller so I don't run out of space. So there's no tens left. Now we just have eight ones. So you could put one into each of those eight groups, which is all eight. So there are none left over. So the answer is $141. So homemade cookies was $141. So the answer to number one, how much money did she earn selling homemade cookies? $141 is the answer for that. We did three eighths times 376 or three eighths of $376.
Now part B is a little more tricky. It says how much more money. So we're gonna have to subtract the two amounts of money. How much more money did she earn selling Girl Scout cookies than homemade cookies? So we're gonna subtract 141. That's the amount she spent on homemade cookies. Now we gotta find out how much did she spend on Girl Scout cookies, and then we can do the subtraction. So if the rest of it was Girl Scout cookies, we can do the total, 376, minus the homemade cookies, 141, and you're gonna get 235. So she earned $235 selling Girl Scout cookies and 141 selling homemade cookies. Let's just make sure that these two numbers add up to the total. 141 plus 235. If we did this right, then that would mean they equal the total of 376. So five plus one is six, four plus three is seven. So yes, it does equal the total. So she made $141 selling homemade cookies, 235 selling Girl Scout cookies, but that's not the answer. How much more did she earn selling Girl Scout cookies, which was $235, than homemade cookies? So we're gonna subtract the homemade cookies, which was $141. So I feel confident that a lot of you probably put 235 for this answer. That's how much she spent on, or that's how much she earned on Girl Scout cookies, but that's not what the question asks. It says how much more did she earn on Girl Scout cookies than homemade cookies, so we have to now subtract. So five minus one is four. You can't do three minus four, so we're gonna borrow. Now we have 13 minus four is nine, and one minus one is zero. So the answer is 94 more dollars selling Girl Scout cookies than she spent, or than she earned selling homemade cookies. Okay, now let's just check that one more time to make sure we didn't mess up this. 141 is how much she spent on homemade cookies, and we're saying she spent $94 more on the Girl Scout cookies. If that was right, then we should get back to the 235 that she spent on Girl Scout cookies which we do. So we know our answer of $94 was correct. So part A, she spent $141 spend, uh, selling homemade cookies, and she spent 94, or she earned 94 more dollars selling Girl Scout cookies than she did selling homemade cookies. And that's it. Hope everybody has a great day. Enjoy the sunshine again today. See ya.